So let's start. Bring out your pen, notebook, and module. In the previous lessons, we learned about factoring common monomial factor, difference of two squares, perfect square trinomials, general trinomials, sum or difference of two cubes, and grouping. In this module, you will learn how to solve problems involving factors of polynomials. So this is quarter one, module two, problem solving involving factors of polynomial. So learning competency, the learners will be able to Number one is illustrate the factors of polynomials and solve problems involving factors of polynomials. Some problems involve finding the factors of polynomials. And the most common topic for such problems involves the area or volume of figures. How are we going to solve problems involving factors of polynomial? Here are the steps. Study the following steps that may guide you in solving such problems. Step number one, identify what is being asked. Step number two, identify what is given. Step number three, choose the operation. Step number four, show your solution. And last, step number five, write your final answer. Let's solve problem number one. The area of a rectangular paper is 7x squared plus 21x centimeter squared. If the width is 7x centimeter, what is its length? So to answer this, so let us use the following steps. Step number one, what is as? What is the length of the rectangular paper? Step number two, what are the given? The givens are the area of a rectangular paper, which is equal to 7x squared plus 21x centimeter squared, and the width of the rectangular paper, is equal to 7x centimeter. Step number three, what should you do? So to answer this, so we will use the area of the rectangle. And the area of the rectangle is equal to the length times the width. Step number four, show your solution. Okay, so let's solve this. Let's solve problem number one. So yung formula natin, yung area ng rectangle is equal to length times the width. So, dun sa given natin, given na ang area ng rectangular paper. So, yung area ng rectangular paper is 7x squared plus 21x centimeter squared is equal to the length, ito yung missing natin, and then yung width is 7x centimeter. So, to solve this, pwede nating i-divide si 7x sa 7x squared plus 21x. At yung pangalawang way naman is pwede natin kunin yung factors ni 7x squared plus 21x. So, pwede natin tong i-factor out using common monomial factor. So, kunin natin yung greatest common factor or yung GCF. So, GCF is equal to 7x. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung isa sa mga factors niya is yung greatest common factor niya. Ngayon, let's factor out 7x. So, divide 7x to each term to find the other factor. So, 7x squared divided by 7x. So, that is x positive 21x divided by 7x. So, that is positive 3. So, it means yung 7x natin, yung width... So, yung x plus 3, so this will be the length. So, yung answer ngayon natin is x plus 3. So, this is the length of the rectangular paper. So, let's go to problem number 2. JV earns x squared minus 49 pesos for working x minus 7 hours. How much does he earn per hour? Let's use the steps. Step number one, what is as? How much does he earn per hour? Step number two, what are the given? The givens are the total earnings is equal to x squared minus 49 pesos 
and the number of hours which is equal to x minus 7 hours. What should you do? So, to answer this, so let's use this formula. So, total earnings is equal to the number of hours times the rate for R. Step number four, show your solution. So, let's solve this. Okay, yung problem number two, pwede natin siyang isolve using itong formula na to. Total earnings is equal to the number of hours times the rate per hour. So, yung total earnings, given na siya. So, that is x squared minus 49 pesos is equal to the number of hours. So, x minus 7 times yung inaanap natin, yung rate per hour. So, to solve this, pwede natin i-divide si x minus 7 kay x squared minus 49 or by factoring kasi alam natin yung yung product eh isa sa mga factors niya is yung x minus 7. So looking at the product, yung total earnings natin, yung x squared minus 49, we can factor using difference of two squares. Bakit? Kasi yung x squared tsaka yung 49 perfect square sila and then yung operation ay subtraction. So ngayon, to factor this, kunin natin yung square root ni first term and then yung square root ni second term. Square root of x squared is x. Then square root ni 49 ay 7. So, gamitin natin si x tsaka si 7. So, yung factors ngayon ni x squared minus 49 is equal to x plus 7, x minus 7. So, dito sa mga factors na ito, itong x minus 7, ito na yung number of hours. So, it means itong other factor na ito, ito yung rate per hour. So, yung answer ngayon natin is x plus 7. Let's have problem number 3. Ben is making a dog pen in his backyard. The pen will be rectangular and have an area of 8x cubed plus 125 feet squared. If the length of the pen is 2x plus 5 feet, what is its width? So, first step is what is as? What is the width of the rectangular dog pen? Step number two, what are the given? The givens are the area of the rectangular dog pen which is equal to 8x cubed plus 125 feet squared. Length of the rectangular dog pen is equal to 2x plus 5 feet. So, step number 3, what should you do? So, to answer this, we will use again the area of the rectangle. And what is the area of the rectangle? Very good. Length times the width. Step number 4. Show your solution. Okay, so let's solve this. Okay, let's answer problem number 3. So, sa problem number 3, same siya nung problem number 1. Pero dito kasi yung nawawala na ngayon is yung width. So, given na yung area nung rectangle, so nung rectangular dog pen, and that is 8x cubed plus 125 is equal to so, yung length natin is 2x plus 5 times yung width. Ito yung missing ngayon natin. So, pwede natin isolve to by dividing 2x plus 5 sa 8x cubed plus 125. Or, i-factor natin yung product since alam natin na yung isa sa mga factors niya is yung 2x plus 5. So, we can factor this using sum of 2 cubes. Bakit? Kasi yung 8x cubed at 125, perfect cube sila parehas. So, ikunin natin yung cube root ni first term and then yung cube root ni second term. So, yung cube root ni 8x cubed, so that is 2x, 
And then yung cube root ni 125, so that is 5. So using 2x and 5, so let's factor 8x cubed plus 125. So that is 2x plus 5 times the quantity. So to find the other factor, so square natin yung first term. So that is 4x squared. Then yung middle term, multiply natin si 2x plus 5. So 2x times 5 is 10x. So kunin natin yung opposite nito. So that is negative. So minus. And then square natin yung last term. So that is plus 25. So dito sa factor natin, yung 2x plus 5, ito yung length. And then yung 4x squared minus 10x plus 25. This will be the width. So, this will be the width of the rectangular dog pen. So our answer now is 4x squared minus 10x plus 25 feet. Problem number 4. The square table has an area of 9x squared minus 42x plus 49m squared. What polynomial expression represents its dimension? So, step number one is what is as? What polynomial expression represents its dimension? Step number two, what are the given? The givens are, the area of the square table is equal to 9x squared minus 42x plus 49m squared. We know that the dimension of the square are all equal. What should you do? So, to answer this, we will use the area of the square and the area of the square is s times s or s squared so step number four show your solution okay so let's solve this okay so let's answer problem number four so sa problem number four so ang given natin dito is yung square yung area ng square table so at hinahanap natin dito yung dimension alam natin ang square all sides are equal so it means yung mga dimension nito is parehas so, using the given, so yung given ng area natin is 9x squared minus 42x plus 49. So, ito ay trinomial since ang figure natin dito ay square. So, ito ngayon ay perfect square trinomial. So, to make sure, check natin. To double check, so pwede natin square yung first term. And then, square natin yung last term. Ang square root ni 9x squared ay 3x. At ang square root ng 49 ay 7. So, ti-check kung yung middle term ay magsasatisfy. So, multiply natin si 3x tsaka si 7. So, 3x times 7. So, that is 21x. And then, twice. So, that is equal to 42x. So, kung mapapansin natin, pareha sila. So, gamitin ngayon natin yung square root ni first term tsaka yung square root ni last term. So, ang factor ngayon ni 9x squared minus 42x plus 49 ay 3x. So, kunin natin yung middle term, yung operation niya. So, that is minus 7 squared or, so this is 3x minus 7 times 3x minus 7. So, ang dimension ngayon ng square table natin is 3x minus 7 times 3x minus 7. So, this is, so, ang dimension ngayon natin is 3x minus 7 times 3x minus 7. So, this is meter. Problem number 5. A vendor earns M squared minus 2M minus 3 pesos for selling M minus 3 kilograms of apple. How much does each kilogram of apple cost? So, step number 1 is what is as? How much does each kilogram of apple cost? Step number 2. What are the given? The total earning is equal to M squared minus 2M minus 3 pesos. 
and the cost of the apple is equal to m minus 3 kilograms of apple so what should you do so to answer this so let's use this formula total earning is equal to the cost of the apple times the cost of each kilogram of apple step number four show your solution okay so let's solve this last problem problem number five so sa problem number five gamitin natin yung formula na total earnings is equal to the cost of the apple times the cost of each kilogram of apple so given na yung total earnings so total earnings is equal to m squared minus 2m minus 3 is equal to m minus 3 times yung cost of each kilogram of apple. So, pwede ulit natin tong isolve by dividing m minus 3 sa m squared minus 2m minus 3. Or, since ito yung product, isa sa mga factors niya is yung m minus 3. So, we can factor m squared minus 2m minus 3. So, to factor a general trinomial, kukunin natin yung factors ng last term. At ang last term natin is negative 3. Ano ba yung factors ng negative 3? 1 times negative 3, tsaka negative 1, tsaka positive 3. Ngayon, sino dito yung pag in ko, ang magiging sagot is negative 2. So, yun yung gagamitin natin as factors. So, 1 plus negative 3, so negative 2. Negative 1 plus 3, positive 2. So, since negative 2, itong 1 and negative 3, ito ngayon yung gagamitin natin as factors. So, ang factor ngayon natin dito is m plus 1, m minus 3. So, dito sa factors, yung m minus 3, ito yung cost of the apple. So, it means, ang answer ngayon natin is yung m plus 1. So, ito ngayon yung cost of each kilogram of apple. Okay, so that's all for today. So goodbye and thank you. See you again in our online class. Power. Oh, salamat, Mike.